Vasopressors tend to be all compatible together, meaning you can run all of your vasopressors through one line. Of course, double check this at your hospital in case they mix things differently or get things from different locations. But from my understanding, they're all compatible, which is great because if we have a central line and we have multiple lumens on there, let's say you have three lumens on your central line, you can infuse all of your vasopressors through one of those lines. However, there are a couple things you wanna take into account for. If you are running multiple medications together, it's a great idea to use something like this, like a trifuse, or or something like this, which is a manifold where you can put, you know, different pressors on each of these ports. And the reason why is because if you are adjusting your rates of your pressors, when you adjust your rates on your pressors, you are temporarily adjusting the rates of all the pressors. This is confusing for people, so let me try to break it down and explain. I know this is kind of blurry, but just envision this for me. Okay, pretend this is your presser. Let's say this is Levo. You have Levo running in to this patient's IV, which makes you cringe a little bit, but just pretend. Now let's say you hang a second presser and you have it Y-sided in right here. Now let's say you're adding a third presser and you Y-sight that one in to your vasopressin. Now you're adding a fourth presser, boom, and you're Y-siding that into your third presser. All of a sudden you have a long chain of vasopressors. That fourth presser that you Y-sided in is going to take a while to travel down the long chain of IV tubing and infuse into your patient. Also, let's say you have three pressers running already, they're all Y-sided in, and you hang a fourth presser, and let's say that's running at 10 milliliters an hour. Well, when you start that vasopressor and you hit on and turn that pump on, you are now pushing all of those vasopressors that you have Y-sided in more quickly into the patient temporarily, but it does increase the rate of all of them because you're essentially kind of bolusing them in for a sec, which is why I recommend using a trifuse or a manifold or a stopcock of some sort. So that way your medications can all be infused together and mixed together in this short distance versus a very long chain of mixing. And where people come up with the runner is sometimes people will hang a bag of NS on the end of this little manifold here and run it at a rate of 10 cc's or so. So that way you have something that's sort of pushing the medications in at all times. If you think of it this way, let's say you have fentanyl and your fentanyl is running at one milliliter an hour and you start your fentanyl right here. This is probably equivalent to one milliliter and it's gonna take over an hour for that fentanyl to even reach the patient. So if you have a chaser or a runner of NS pushing all of those medications in, it just helps the medications that are infusing into these ports get into the patient within a reasonable amount of time. I hope that makes sense. I know this is very confusing. I'm happy to explain more. Please ask me all the questions.